the car is done. We have a full wrap. Everything is wrapped on this car. What's going on YouTube? My name is Zach Sensham and welcome to the channel. So the day has finally come. We're finally gonna finish the car. Well, at least for the wrap. I know, I know, this is taking way too long, honestly. Life happened, car got put on the back burner for, I didn't even touch it for a week and a half, but there's been no reason to finish it. I was not really on a time schedule, haven't had any customer cars that needed a full wrap, that needed the garage, so whenever a customer came in, I pulled the car out and it would sit in the driveway while I worked on the other car. So today we are going to finish the roof, which Craig is cleaning up right now. Uh, we already have the cutting tape and the molding tape laid. We are going to do the mirrors, which I'm gonna give you guys a demo on how to, where'd I put those? Okay, I'm gonna move here. I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the caps on the mirrors, which is an absolute pain in the ass. Everything on this car has been a pain in the ass, really. Um, I learned a lot wrapping this car. I learned some things that I should have done differently and things that I will do differently on the next wrap. You know, it's a learning process. Some things should have been taken off to make the wrap even better. Some things didn't need to be taken off. Um, it just is what it is, guys. So without further ado, let me go ahead and show you guys the roof and what we all have as far as preparation for laying the vinyl. Uh, we'll show you the trunk real quick. Let's show you the trunk first. So the trunk is finished. I did not record or document any of the trunk because it's basically a pretty straightforward piece. It's This is all real flat. This one's kind of a pain, tucking it and getting... So next time I wrap this car, the spoiler will come off. I just didn't want to deal with the double-sided tape and with me half-assing it or not taking that extra step, it actually caused more issues. Uh, there's some white showing in here, which you might see in video, but in real life, you will see it if you know it's there. It bothers me. Um, let's see, and then on the back of the spoiler, ooh, why is it so, is my camera dirty? I don't know. Okay, so if you see that I actually did two piece on this, the top's blue and the back is gloss black. I did that so that it would tie in with this wicker bill a lot better and give more of a uniform look. So I'm really happy with that. We did take off the antenna. I will show you guys that process in a little bit. Not fun. And as you can see, we have the knifeless tape. Oh, and it is actually overlapping the blue. You can see the blue on the other side over here. And I have the molding pulled back on the windshield. Also have the sunroof cracked a little bit so that I can tuck the blue on the edges as much as I can. So that is about ready to go. Oh, oh. Okay, we have one mirror not taken apart and we have one cap off Even though it's only six tabs Which is one two three four five six This one piece of double-sided tape makes it an absolute nightmare. I will try not to make an extremely long video trying to show you guys how to do this and take this off, but I will demonstrate it. Oh, last thing. Let me hop in here, Craig. I don't think I'm gonna have enough light. Let me get light real quick. So. Okay. So. As you can see, we pulled the C-pillars, which you have a, a clip right here, and you have another one. There's the yellow one down there. Sorry guys, this is kind of difficult. Not a whole lot of room, but you can see it back there. Uh, we also just took these clips off. This is your side airbag. 
which is also fun to mess with. Now you have uh, a pressure, uh, like a little plastic clip, little push clip right here and one on the other side, and then you have a magnet right here. I just don't think I can get, let's see if I can show you guys. I just kind of stuck the camera in there, so I don't know if you guys saw that or not. We also pulled that down, but what I did is with this down, I was able to get my hand in there with a 10 millimeter, is just a single 10 millimeter is all that holds that antenna on. So we'll go back in, we'll tighten the antenna after the wrap, we'll reassemble the handles and the C pillars, we'll push those pins in, and then this is just a magnet, as you can tell. Kind of interesting. Whew. It's hot in the car. All right. So enough of me talking. I almost broke sweat in there. Enough of me talking. We're gonna go ahead and get this uh, black vinyl laid out over here, measured out. We already have the measurements. We're gonna get it cut, and we'll get it laid out, and I'll show you guys basically part of the process after it's laid and then we'll do mirrors okay guys so as you can see with this molding tape we're able to really let me see I'll show you how far down in this molding we actually are so here's a squeegee I mean you can see we're pretty far down in there. So that'll cover all the white with the molding. We are all along the edge for that. I'm not ready for this yet. And I have not tucked behind this molding yet. I should have laid tape. I was being lazy, but there's a little gap. So I trimmed a little edge what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel up and then as I'm holding it up with one hand I'm gonna tuck it behind that molding with this hand um, so there's a few imperfections I hate but it happens it's gloss black it's gonna be the and it's the roof I really should have clay barred the roof I'm finding imperfections in it you can see little specks that's just debris in the paint Probably some dust or something that came off of the ground. But if you're looking at the car, most people will never notice those things. And if they do, oh, it is what it is because it's, and you'll see little specks. I really should have clay barred this roof and I didn't because it didn't cross my mind too. But the gloss black roof is gonna look sick. Alright guys, so the roof is done. Would you like to tell YouTube how you feel right now? No? no. Will it get demonetized? <laughs> I don't know. I mean a lot of cuss words, huh? <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we haven't got to the mirrors yet. Well, yeah. <laughs> Uh, these mirrors aren't fun and they're not easy and we've already scrapped some material. It's kind of a trial and error thing trying to figure out what's the best way. Yeah. Right? Okay. Trying to figure out what's the best way to do them. Um, so all mirrors are a little different. They're all different concaves. Some have, you know, two surfaces. Some have three. Uh, I'll show you an example. This material scrap, but. Uh, he's still just practicing a little bit. So this top surface is easy. The problem is you have this surface and over here, where is uh, the cap? Okay. So when you're looking, it's easy when it's just top, side, and bottom. You can get the material to curve and do this. But we have this extra dimension right here. And you got to think, it's a flat sticker and you're trying to get it to not only cover three sides but also do a you know it's curving this way curving that way 
And then coming to this abrupt corner. Um, so I still, I may or may not show you guys how to take that off because we might actually wrap this on the car for leverage purposes. Uh, we tried doing it with the cap off and it just, there's, you need to be able to pull the material. Oh, here, we took that off. You need to be able to get the material and pull around. When this is just you know, sitting on your knee and sliding around and doing all sorts of other nonsense, it just, you can't do it. But when it's mounted to the car, you can set the material, you can grab it, you can pull it around, and you can kind of manipulate it and do what you want. We'll figure it out. Now let's go to the roof. Now as you can see, we, uh, we have it tucked all in this front molding. Uh, this, once the heat gets on this molding, it'll relax it back. That's from the molding tape that I had on it. That's pulled off. You can see the knifeless tape. We got, oh, I thought that was white and that's just a reflection. So there's a nice line all the way down. Now you can see there was a lot of trash in my paint or on my paint. If you get real close, it's kind of a mess. Oh, you can see them little speckles. That should have been addressed before I put the wrap on, but it's too late now. Now we have, this is all tucked all around. Tucked around that way. We have the knifeless came. Knifeless tape got a little off right there, so that line isn't as straight as it wanted to be. But we're all tucked back there. Same on the other side. We have this hole cut out for the antenna. I'll show you guys what I did up here too. Did not mean to start it. Have it. So. We actually. This thing's stupid. We actually tucked all the way on this lip. Let's stand up here. So this lip that is about a quarter inch, maybe a little more, went ahead and covered all that so that with the sunroof down and there is no white showing. So it's just that little extra, no, oh, stop dinging. We get it. So roof is complete. Mirrors, I gotta put my splitter on. You guys probably saw, I had these stock wheels on. And that is because, well, the other ones are over here. The other ones are just chilling over here, being a nice stand for extension cords and stuff. But I actually really like the way they look on there. And it's just mirrors, guys, because she's put together. So we're gonna go ahead and get this mirror thing figured out so that I can show you guys how I wrap the mirrors or how we wrap the mirrors or what we come up with. It may take four hands. Uh, he's attempted himself, I've attempted it myself. No luck so far, kind of just scrapping material. Once we figure it out, I will show you guys. So even though we didn't need the caps off, we still need to be able to take the mirror off itself. Um, there's a few spots that are not wonderful. Um, like there's, I don't know if that's trash or wasn't clean. I don't know. It's scratches. I did have scratches, yeah. So, if you don't know, a lot of, if you have imperfections in your paint, they are 100% going to show up in the wrap. Just FYI if you didn't know. But having this off made trimming really easy. Much, much, much easier. Um, I already close heated it. There's a couple spots. I'm gonna go ahead and try to just run my finger over and make sure they're good. But we have a blue mirror, guys. I'm gonna do a little inlay right there. But you can see how little of a spot that's actually gonna be. Follows the body lines. Shouldn't actually be too noticed when it's on the car like this. Like this, yeah. So having, so being able to take the actual mirror off allows us to do that. So door panels off, everything. 
I'll do this inlay while it's off the car. Then we'll put it on, bolt it up, get the door panel all back together. And then do the same thing over here. And the wrap will be done. Will you be happy, Craig? When it's over? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> see it in the sun. Craig's, oh, and to see it in the sun. Oh, I can't wait for this weekend. Yeah. It's gonna be nice. Oh, and the roof, the roof looks good, guys. Definitely ties the car together really well. So we're probably gonna go ahead and put this cap back on there. But, as I mentioned earlier, there's six spots. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. These are guide plates. This double-sided safe's a bitch. Now to get to it, So they're going like so. But what you have to do is you just have to move this glass around, use picks, use little screwdrivers, and you're gonna have to go in there and knock one out at a time and end up pushing it out. It's tedious, it's terrifying, you feel like you're gonna break something. And you might. So after a lot of trial and error, we decided we're gonna do these in two pieces. And if someone can show me how to do it in one piece, cool, please message me. I would love to do this in one piece. But we have all this. I have, sorry, I have this light right here that needs to be trimmed out. We are all over here. And then on the inside, where people are probably never gonna see, I told y'all that one really interesting area. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an inlay and I'm gonna do a piece right here, a separate piece. So what this will do is there's gonna be no tension on this piece, we'll be able to lay it flat. But what it's also gonna do is we're gonna overlap about a quarter of an inch on this whole piece right here. And what that should do is having no tension here, it should hold all of this down for longevity. Now, we're gonna let this sit and relax. I already post heated it before I trim. Uh, the plus side to doing a mirror like this would be wrapping and then tucking as far in as possible or even going all the way in. So then once it's capped, once it's on there, this groove that this mirror goes in would hold that down. You wouldn't have to worry about it lifting back or not. Now with this, this is going to be, I mean, there's a lot of tension here. So that's why I'm letting it relax, post heated already before I trim. Hopefully that'll help with the longevity of it. And if it starts lifting, what we'll have to do is take it off and find another way to do it. But that is how it's gonna be for now in two pieces. And it's not how I thought the two pieces were gonna be, but we will have blue mirrors guys. Oh, she's almost done. We have blue mirrors. Craig is finishing this one up. Y'all can see the seam overlapping about a quarter inch. Same thing on this one. But, with, I mean, you're never gonna see that on the inside. And it follows the body line really well, guys. Other than that, I'm super happy with this. I don't know how everyone else does these 300 mirrors, but I'm, uh, I'm pretty stoked about this, actually. I'm glad I decided to go color match. That's nice. So that is how I decided to do my 300 mirrors. I also had a help from Craig as well. Having four hands to pull the material around was a lot of help, really beneficial. Okay, so we did the roof, the mirrors today. We have one last thing, which is to put on my splitter, which disappeared. You're sneaky, Craig. 
So we gotta put on the new splitter and the new rods and the car is ready to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tie this video in with tomorrow when I get home from work. We'll do, uh, we'll finish buttoning up the door panels so that all of the wrap stuff, the interior, everything will be done. I've got new decals for the car that, uh, we now have a decal, we have a plotter. So we can do custom decals. DM me on Instagram if you have something you need. Mm, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, we're back. It's the next day. I just could not shut the video down last night. I was way too tired, it was way too late. So the only thing we got to do before I close this video out is put these door panels on, get everything, you know, make sure that I hook up the mirrors and do everything that needs to be done. And that's it for today and that's it for this video and that's a wrap. So let's go ahead and uh, get those buttoned up, get the windows rolled up. We'll see what the car looks like whole. I'll do a walk around video, and then we'll call it. All right, fellas, y'all made it to the end. I do sincerely apologize for the wait on this final video. Life happened. I really don't have a, I'm not gonna feed y'all a bunch of excuses. I just didn't get the car done. I just, motivation, desire, eh, just didn't have a reason to. Um, so I apologize, that's my fault. But the car is done. We have a full wrap. Everything is wrapped on this car. Everything is wrapped on this car. So I'm gonna do a quick walk around. I'll show you guys. I hope you learned something. I hope y'all enjoyed this little journey with me. I have a couple more videos that I already recorded that we installed some things that I'll be posting after this. But I also, this car is going on a road trip to Mobile, Alabama, and then Destin, Florida, man. So just wrapped it. Hope I don't tear it up driving and getting just rock chips and road debris and all that. But it's going to be fun. This is why I bought the car is to drive it and take it and show it. And why not? Let's do a quick walk around. more light over here. There's the roof. I get some reflections in it. Do not have a lot of room to walk around, guys. So if you guys like this video, man, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications. Like I said, I have two more videos that are already recorded that I have just been waiting to post. So I haven't been completely not doing anything. I just wanted this completion wrap video to be the next video that I post just so that everything is flowing, basically. Now we just gotta clean it up, but I'm sure as you saw, it's raining outside, so the car won't get clean till tomorrow, and then all the final touches to get it ready for the road trip. Ah, that's it, guys, man. I, again, thank you all. I've met so many of y'all. So many of y'all have reached out to me on Instagram, and I've met you on Facebook groups, and everything. just, it's so much, it, I love it, man. 
reach out to me, DM me, hit me up, man. I have no problem talking to anybody if I can answer questions or if I didn't go as in depth in something. I'll do my best to talk you through it or try to tell you what I did or what you could do or where you can find the information. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.